Right, now Jules might not think it's unlucky to uh, walk under ladders, but I want to know why his lift went up and not down at the start of the programme. <laughs> anyway, anyway, if like me you thought that computers were a subject beyond the scope of anyone except uh, spotty 12-year-old kids, then I better tell you that coming to this bit, I had never touched one of these or seen one of these uh, before yesterday. So they are in fact quite easy to work because we're going to have a go at a couple of these in a minute. Quite easy to work, and as Jules did tell you, there's now two million of these in homes all over the country, and there was only 700,000 in homes before Christmas, so that's a lot of sales over the last Christmas. Now, there's obviously been loads of games designed for uh, home computers, as you saw some of them downstairs, but nobody's yet done a game about the music bits, up until now that is. Kevin Smith here has done one, it's called It's Only Rock and Roll. There's the advert, courtesy of KTEL, who put it out, and uh, we're going to be playing this game in a second, but... Kevin, how did you get the idea? How did you come about to design a game like this? Well, I've been put out of work twice. Um, yeah. There's a fair amount of money about in video games, so I thought I'd give it a crack. Well, have you got any qualifications to? Have you got a maths A level or degree or anything? I've got an O level in maths, but it's pretty irrelevant, really. You don't, you don't, need, you don't, you don't need. Right. Two and two is, is enough, you know. Yeah. All right, well, right. Let's have a let's have a go at this. We've called our group Duran Duran, by the way, because uh, they're on later in the program. You can see we've got plenty of money in the bank, just like Duran Duran. I haven't got a manager or a fan club, but nobody's perfect. Anyway, press any key. We've got an option. There's a bit of Black Knight there by Deep Purple. That's for uh, Chris Phipps, our heavy metal fan in the tube. We'll write a song now, and let's see uh, how long how long do these games last when people play them. Um, depending on how well you do, it can take up to about an hour, really. Yeah, an hour to play. There you go. Typical Duran Duran lyrics. Love is like a dirty joke. Can you pick my spots? There we go. Typical number one Duran Duran song. Six out of ten, but uh, I'm sure it'll get somewhere. Um, you're saying about you can make a lot of money. I mean, how much money can you make out of a game like this? Mm, depends how many copies you sell, obviously, but uh, if you've got a decent royalty rate, then anything up to about... 20, 30 thousand. Are you standing to make that, if I may ask? <laughs> I'll tell you next March, that's when I get mine, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, how long did it take you to do? A couple of months? Two months. So, you could stand to make 50,000 a year or something? Well, something like, like that, yeah. yeah. Do, um, you say it's also very easy to put together. I mean, is it something that if I was to buy a computer, I could. I, I, bought, I bought it, the computer, and wrote it straight away. It's straight off, no, no experience, so. And what, what sort of uh, experiences did you base this on in, in terms of uh, the music business and what happens? Well, yeah. I've no experience of the music business whatsoever. It was just simply a gap in the market, so I, I wanted to you fill it. Filled it, right. Well, all you uh, failed musicians out there can now have a go at uh, writing videos to make a quick buck. Chris Seavey's done it, and here's some of his music and the graphics. Right, now Chris Seavey is the man standing here who, is, uh, who was responsible for the all-time classic, if you remember it, I'm in love with a girl on the Virgin Manchester Megastore checkout. Something like that. Something, One of those. Something like Any that. Any combination. What was that we just saw? That came with a record, didn't it? Uh, well, no, that was the first one we did was a black and white one. It's just mm. I've redone it into colour so you can buy it as a colour game. And that, what, you, you buy the record, plug it into your Well, you computer. simply play the B yeah. side into your computer, which stores yeah. the information, then you can play your record as a normal record and play the games or watch the display. Right, and what's this you've got here that you've Well, this along? is what I'm working on at the moment, which is coming out uh, on EMI soon. Uh, yeah. It's a display which is goes along with it. You get the lyrics coming up and bits of graphics. Well, that's that's the lyrics the there, is it? Yeah, yeah, this is just rushing through at the moment. But what I've actually done is the end of the music, as it's fading out, it actually turns the computer over to you. And then what you can do is play along with it, and I'll show you what I mean now. It should this just keep going. Yeah, this is still on the right bits of things. But what happens? It turns it over to you, yeah. and then depending what keys you press, it does different things. So and you it's do like that a, to the music. Yeah, it's like a light show, pictures. so you can like dance with your fingers, you know, if you're bored. along with it. Or you're doing so sitting at home bored you don't touch, if you're not watching you know. the tube or something like that, which That's you should be watching. You've also done a game, haven't you? The Biz, which is yeah. kind of that Virgin Games, I believe. Uh, that's coming on Virgin out. with a collection of freshies, including the Mega Store. Right. Uh, and that's another well, another game. It's quite similar to that one, except that it's based from my experiences with the bid, which right. are very bad, you know, because I've never had a hit yet. Right, well, I um, plugged in, I, I put in something that's quite... 
Mm. Quite dear to my heart up there. Apocalypse. Uh, yeah. Apocalypse indeed. Uh, going up. On right. the MI. Again. On the MI as well. Let me. You've got 2,000 records. Fun your agent. Fun your agent. And get some gigs put in. Leeds University. I think we'll do 29 a week of gigs. quid. 34 dollars. You don't pay very well, do you? Yeah, what's your, what's your thing around the country here? Don't do, you know, Newcastle, Glasgow, and then down to Portsmouth, back to Newcastle. You've got to pace it right. Yeah, right. Yeah. So it's Just all worked like that. Like We've got a London gig in there. Played the nice. That's your week. That's your diary filled so what happens We're now zooming through the week, yeah. and you're doing your gigs, and you'll see if you've charted. And it's Tuesday morning, this is like the Gallup charts mm. coming through on the computer. And what's the longest you have? You've charted right, 46, right. 47. 48. So no. David Bowie's 49. in there. Who else? 49. Joy Division. Just 50. got it. Top there we are. Straight in the top 50 in the first week. Not bad. Yours one is uh, quite humorous, some of the things you put in there. Well, that, are you, you planning to make like a quick buck out of it? Or? Well, I don't know. I mean, for me, it's just like an extra to the music. I mean, the music's most important. It's just like adding an extra dimension to it. You know, I mm. think like the next generation will who grow up with it, who, you know, will take it for granted and they'll actually utilise it more than we can. You know, I'm over the hill with computers, right. really. What do you, if I can bring you in again, Kevin, you can just uh, come this way. What do you, what did you think of, uh, of Chris's game here in the bottom? What did you think of his? I, I, I prefer, you prefer the, uh, he doesn't the, like synchro the, game. the synchronized, <laughs> the synchronized with the music. Well, we'll, have, no, we'll have no bitching in here, please. <laughs> <laughs> what about, I mean, do computers have uses apart from playing games? Well, it has a say, I certainly think so, but it's got to be the people who grow up with it, and they will use them as a tool, because it's just a tool, that's all it is. Mm. You what shouldn't sort, be what frightened sort of things would you suggest? Well, I don't know, I mean, you can, you can do your accounts on them, stuff like that. Um, keep your record collection mm. on it and you know look up information that sounds right fun i think that uh giving a spare hundred quid i think one of these might just actually might slip into my pocket at the end of the program uh, after all it's only a game at least i hope so because uh we're coming to a bit more of tron is it really a game or is it reality here we go